Kia ora koutou katoa and welcome to the show. Lovely to be at your place this morning. Oh, well, Lovely to see you. you again, yes. Hello yeah, everybody. Happy New Year. Year. Happy New Year to you, Vanessa. You've been pretty busy over the Christmas and well, New Year's break. Very spoiled. I went to Southeast Asia for three weeks and had a blast. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, it's very lucky. How good is that? I reckon we will find out more about your travels as the morning continues. What about you? Did you have a nice summer? I did a lovely summer. I had Gisborne and Brisbane. Oh, yeah. you're, you're busy <laughs> and you're awesome. breezy. Just for a change. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom. I reckon nice. Here's what else is coming up. This morning, it is wowing audiences across the globe. We get a sneak peek of the smash hit stage so show, Thriller Live with Rockstar and Excess's Megaisa and the Voice Australia's Prinny Stevens. They are Amazing. Amazing. Oh. We were earlier, they sound great. We're reliving over 50 years of Doctor Who with who else but Peter Davison, the fifth Doctor from the hit sci fi series. I remember him, I was about 12 when he was on. Uh, and Lovers in the Air with our movie review, we check out Oscar nominated The Theory of Everything as well as the hotly anticipated <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey, Jamie Dornan. It would be fair to say there are mixed reviews about that. Apparently, oh, I haven't seen any good ones. Mm. <laughs> I just thought they were all bad. So far, we shall see what yes. Francesca, Francesca says a little later on. I meant to ask you first up, though, what are you making? I'm doing a Vietnamese-inspired uh, pork skewer for the barbecue. Mm. Uh, so with a whole heap of uh, Southeast Asian flavours here that we're going to mix together, marinate the pork and skewer it and just barbecue it over nice. here. Not that we have a barbecue, but we're going to um, make it do. Nice. Exactly. And you can do it in the house. I mean, you can do it on a grill or a griddle pan like this. Yep. And then we've got a, a very Vietnamese-inspired accompaniment. That? Well, I just sort of created this to show you how it would work in Vietnam oh because the ladies walk around around with this on their shoulders mm -hmm. and so then they'll... So goes across your shoulders? This goes across your shoulders like this at the back and they would have two and on this side they'd have their kebabs or their, whatever the meat is yeah. and on this side they'd have all the vegetable accompaniments and they'd stop on the side of the road and you'd grab some skewers and then take which accompaniments you prefer from here. Wow. So okay. it's quite gorgeous, yeah. isn't How cool it? Is that? Yeah. So and th this looks fairly reasonably priced ingredients. They know? are. They're really, yes, really noodles. fresh, simple, fresh ingredients. It doesn't cost much. It looks fantastic on the table. So it's a lovely, lovely, reasonably yeah. priced family meal. And you know, it's like the Mexicans have the tacos and you, and you help yourself and create what it is that you'd like to put with your dish. This is sort of like the Southeast Asian equivalent. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a shared meal. And this is very much what you would have seen and eaten when you were and in indulged Vietnam, in. Yes. Was. It was. I mean, it's on the side of the road there. So I rode a motorbike around and would stop on the side of the road and indulge all day oh. long. And it was just so gorgeous and wow. wonderful. So. Because you I lived bet. over there for five years, didn't I you? I did. In Vietnam? I lived in yeah. Vietnam for five years and Indonesia for six years and Singapore for three. Yep. So, yeah, I'm very familiar with the environment and absolutely love those countries. And there we and go. Very that is, much at home. Well, oh, that's me. Well, it's not well, me. That's, what you have, <laughs> that's me stopping to eat. So yeah. that's one of their gorgeous noodles soups and she's just sitting on the side of the road. Oh, there I am on my yeah, motorbike. Yes. Wow. So took off for three days and just travelled on the motorbike and yeah, it's fantastic fun. Best way to travel, eh? It is. It's, it's just It's crazy. The I was locals. in Sumatra last year and it was my first experience of Indonesia and the motorbikes and how many people they can oh, get yeah. on motorbikes. I counted oh, yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. Seven on, on one particular motorbike, and, and the kind of the average appeared to be three or four at least. Oh, well, I used to take families. my children to school on a motorbike with tennis rackets, hockey sticks, school bags, gym kit, and everything. And on reflection, I think, my goodness, how many really? kids do you have? I only had two. Oh, okay, two's better than seven. Well, <laughs> yeah, the locals no. would do seven. Um, that, that's probably oh, that was, a little I mean, bit. Yeah, not yes. every motorbike had seven, no. but I certainly did count that on one occasion. Yes. yes. So yeah. I'll just tell you what I'm popping in the marinade here. We've got some sesame oil and some fish sauce, and then. And I've got some garlic here, chopped up, and uh, I also popped in some lemongrass. Mm. They have the it. best flavours, don't they? Yeah. They have oh, the best flavours. Oh, a little bit of sugar to take the the heat or the uh, sour okay. flavour out of Balancing. the fish sauce. Yeah. Yep. And then I've just got a little bit of oyster sauce here as well. So really, again, just staples from the pantry. Yep. Uh, and I. I urge people, you know, if you if you want to follow this recipe and you realise you don't have oyster sauce but you've got a hoisin sauce there or a soy sauce, don't worry, just use that. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's don't go out and buy a whole bottle um, and you can just taste your flavouring before you pop it in but you want a little bit of salty, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of garlic and lemongrass and... Did oh, you put sesame oil already? in there? Yeah. Oh yeah, you did. I, I love sesame it. Sesame oil. And if you're fussy like me and you don't like pork, well, then do chicken. With chicken? Absolutely. Okay, cool. yep. Yeah, pop it, pop it with chicken. I mean, the only thing that you probably wouldn't use this marinade for because it's too strong would be fish. Yeah. But you could do pork or you Beef. could do lamb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I did a lamb skewer the other day. I actually wrote a recipe for somebody else with the lamb skewers and did a very similar marinade to this. And it was absolutely fantastic. It looks so, divine. And you can take a cheaper cut of meat. I mean, this is a pork loin... 
uh, without the bone that I've just carefully sliced. But you know, you don't need an expensive piece of meat because yeah. you're going to marinate it with all these fantastic flavours. And I think, you know, it's fresh, it's simple, but it's not expensive. Lovely. That's the ticket. So yeah, I'm just going to do this. So they, I mean, the great thing in Vietnam, this would this would be out at breakfast. You, know, you drive what your motorbike. Really? Yeah, and that's why I like doing the motorbike because you get the smells and the and the colours and everything going on. You know, if you're in a car and it's air conditioned because it's hot there, uh, you you miss the whole kind of culture and yeah. and the whole sense of it because you're immersed in it in Southeast Asia, aren't you? You come home here and it's beautiful because it's New Zealand <laughs> and it's beautiful fresh air uh, and it's a whole different experience yeah. but in Southeast Asia you need to be on the street. Yeah. Yeah. And so how often were you eating the, the street food literally sort of you know in, the, is, that, is that basically how you ate your whole way around? Uh, yes and no I also because I was an expat there so I've become quite friendly with a lot of expats there who have set up their own businesses and they're you very dinner much, dates. I had dinner <laughs> dates <laughs> and I went to their restaurants and they've done much more fusion cuisine so they've really taken the Southeast Asian ingredients of where they're living but created gorgeous cafes and restaurants so I went there too nice. because that's what I'm trying to do here oh, you know it's you? Well, yeah. just, well not a restaurant but to introduce the Asian flavors yeah. but with the gorgeous Kiwi ingredients yeah. and it's so nice to meet people who are doing similar there are a lot of kiwi lamb on their menus oh, do they? Mm -hmm. yeah it's fantastic to see so so i yeah i had nice cocktails in nice places as well to be honest i'm sure I got you a bit did of both, yeah. <laughs> were those available readily available on the street as well oh not on the street no more in a cafe <laughs> style might i <laughs> So how about you guys? Did you have good holidays? Oh, did look, the weather. Away and well, the thing is, I go away to Australia um, for my break and hear about the beautiful weather here in Auckland. I know. So what, what was your brizzy weather? Was it Oh, it was, it was hideously hot. Yeah. But, you know, it's a different kind of hot here. When you have a nice day in Auckland, it's, the temperature is bearable, yeah. whereas you go to Brisbane and it's just... If you don't have air conditioning. But you're up well up into the 30s and stuff in Brisbane. 35 yeah. on average wow. over on the Gold Coast and in Brisbane, yeah. It's hot, eh? It is Pretty hot. warm. But it's quite funny, Matai, because I came back from Asia thinking, oh, how fantastic, I've had three weeks of extraordinary weather. Yeah. And came back and everyone was so happy here. I know. I thought, oh, they must have had a good January. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's, people were a little bit sad towards Christmas, didn't oh, you feel? A little I bit know, depressed with we the weather. The weather wasn't flash, but that was all was forgiven as soon as that sun came out and stayed out. Yeah, that's the great thing, isn't it? A good summer is what everyone needs and then everyone's sort of excited about getting back to work. Well, not excited, but <laughs> happier about it. Did you see the big flash in the sky last oh, night? Oh, no, I didn't. First I, I heard was this, what did you actually I saw it. I was lying on the couch watching telly last night and the sky lit up. And I mean literally the whole thing, like something out of a movie. Really? And so did you rush outside? Like, could you actually see anything? Well, I did rush outside there? to the balcony, but it was all over Rover. It was uh, really, really, really fast. I didn't think it might be the Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> premiere. <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Oh. All right, so we've got these lovely skewers. We're just barbecuing here. Obviously, you need to cook them fairly well. They're pork. Uh, and then the idea would be... Talk us through it, because they're probably not going to be cooked in the 30 seconds that we have left. Well, that's OK. I'd say Talk probably three, what you three would or do. four minutes. Yeah. Yep. I'm just going to show you anyway. Yep. OK. And we just pop them into here, over onto the side. Lovely. And then people can just either take a skewer... Like, like they are, and create a little salad. Yeah. Or the other option is to actually take, take your lettuce leaf. And your half-cooked pork. <laughs> and your half, no, I know, but the, the public know purposes. that it's just for our purposes. And then what, you would just create a little dish actually in here. So you take Wrapped some up in your noodles and some fresh mint, coriander and bean sprouts, and a little bit of peanuts, peanuts if you don't have an allergy. And then actually roll it all up. Oh. Super duper healthy too. And it's super duper healthy. And it's like almost like a little burger or slider, yeah, but yeah, in lettuce. Yeah. And then I've got wok mam, which is the typical Vietnamese sauce. And Dip it in there and But we're not going to deal. eat it because the pork is not well cooked. No, you didn't. Right. <laughs> we'll Stick around, we'll later. finish it off later. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for your lovely to have you. Yeah, gorgeous to be back on. Thank you. Jack Hamilton is with us tomorrow. She is putting a unique twist on comfort food classics chocolate cake and fried rice because it's, it's Black Friday tomorrow. It's Friday the 13th. Right, that's oh, very Jack recipe. Coming up, Prinny Stevens channels. The, the spirit of the late great Michael Jackson right after this.